What's up YouTube, it's Razor. So, I made another Magical Musketeer deck. Now I know I made a Magical Musketeer deck the other day. That Magical Passbook deck. Using Sears Passbook with the Magical Musketeers. But I wanted to make another build. And this one focuses on Hyperstar. So this is my Hyperstar Magical Musketeer deck. So let's go and jump into the deck and I'll explain how this deck works. Triple Mystical Shine Ball. Triple Shooter the Kid. Triple the Agent of Creation Venus. Triple Doc. Triple Casper. One Urgeki. Triple Photon Sanctuary. Double Foolish Burial Goods. Triple Ties of the Brethren. Triple Double Summon. One Upstart Goblin. One Metal Foes Fusion for Full Sparrow Goods. Double Scapegoat. Triple Cross Domination. Triple Desperado. Triple Last Stand. And that's it for the main deck. Okay, that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, I actually made a little bit of adjustments. So as you can tell, it changed a little bit. But anyway, Topologic Bomber Dragon. Bore Load. Skull Dread. Firewall. Trish Baina, Summon Sorceress, Troy Mare, Phoenix, Troy Mare, Cerberus, Triple Hyperstar, One Proxy Dragon, One Lampholinkus, and Double Security Dragon. The reason why a Security Dragon is because you can summon it off a Photon Sanctuary, or you could also summon it off of a Scapegoat. And you summon two of them, and you'll be able to bounce one of your opponent's cards. All right, I'm not sure if you can. Okay, once while this monster is face up, so I think you can use it twice. Oh, you can only use it once per turn. Okay, so you can bounce one of your opponent's monsters, and then you can go into Hyperstar. Use both of them to go into Hyperstar. Since this is a Hyperstar Turbo, you got. There's three cards that easily allow you to go into Hyperstar in this deck. Scapegoat. Because as I just mentioned, the two security dragons into, um, into Hyperstar. And then Photon Sanctuary is a one card instant Hyperstar. And the Agent of Creation Venus is a one card double hyperstar so because you spell summon three shine balls so you can make two hyperstars with that and I actually made triple hyperstar in one one of the duels that you won't see because I I took I deleted the replay but because I actually lost that duel I summoned three hyperstars turn one and still lost I was so salty they all three had 2,900 attack. And I was like, I got this battle won. And I ended up losing because my opponent had Torrential Tribute. So I was pretty salty about that. But. Yeah, I did something triple of them in one turn. In one of the duels that you won't see. But mainly with this deck, you could summon one to two of them very, very easily. And they power up your Magical Musketeers. If you could somehow get three Hyperstars on the field, you could get uh, Casper to have 3,500 defense. This is insane. Even just one Hyperstar... With him having 2,500 defense, that's pretty crazy. And you can get Shooter to kill up to 2,100 attack, which makes him a pretty good beater. So yeah, all in all, it just helps you, Hyperstar helps you push out a lot of damage. And that's something that the Magical Musketeers lacked, is the damage. So this deck helps with that helps you maximize your damage and I can 
I even OTK'd in one of the duels. I bet you ain't never heard OTK and Magical Musketeers in the same sentence. But I did do that. I did OTK with this deck. So it's pretty pretty insane deck. This is one of my best Magical Musketeer decks that I've made. Very happy I made this deck. Now I know I said earlier I used Magical Musketeers a few days ago, but this is my favorite archetype. I just really enjoy using this archetype. And I even use this archetype for 10 hours. So, in that 10 hour magic, 10 hours of Magical Musketeer duels, which was the most insane video I ever posted on this channel. I got like 70 wins and like 24 losses, which is a 70% win rate. So, Magical Musketeers are so underrated. Like the archetype's amazing. People just don't see the potential of it. Like I do. But. It's just my opinion. I think the archetype's great. I think more people should play the archetype. I know a lot of people are going to say it's annoying to duel against. And yes it is. But. It's fun to play. I enjoy playing it a lot. So. And I'm planning on making more Magical Musketeer decks in the future as well, so expect more of them, but not anytime soon because I've already used them twice in a week's time, so maybe next month I'll make another Magical Musketeer deck. I already have one playing known as Cowboys and Aliens. Magical Musketeers mix of Aliens. And also, I was thinking of making a Blue Eyes Magical Musketeer deck. So, Magical Musketeers of Eyes of Blue. Plan on making that one day as well. I got so many ideals of Magical Musketeers. So many decks I could potentially make. So many archetypes I could potentially mix them with. The possibilities are endless. So, there's just so much strategy involved with the archetype. It's just amazing so good I cannot say enough positive things about magical musketeers but enough rambling I'll let you guys go and watch the duels and like I said this is one of the best magical musketeer decks I've made so I hope you guys enjoy it and smash that like button please and subscribe if you haven't already watch the duels and later